So affiliate marketing versus network marketing. Hmm, which one should I choose? Hey guys, Judd Albring here and welcome to my channel. Listen, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button, it'd mean a lot to me. I talk all about uh, different ways to make passive income online using affiliate marketing and various side hustles online, but legit uh, side hustles, legit ways to make money and to make a lot of money. So my goal is to teach you how to stop trading time for money. And if you wanna learn how I do that, I'm gonna put a link below. This has allowed me financial freedom and time freedom to spend time with my family, but it's my number one recommended system. I'll put it below, check it out. So let's go into it. What is the main difference between affiliate marketing and network marketing? So I pulled up this handy little um, description here, and I believe this is from Internet Scams to Avoid is the website, is the blog, so I want to give them credit. But it's just a quick kind of cheat sheet that I thought would be good for us to kind of go through. So let's go through kind of the do's and the don'ts and the difference between affiliate marketing and network marketing. Um, but real quick, so affiliate marketing, guys, is is uh, like a, is considered what they would call redirect, redirect selling. So I'm an affiliate marketer. So I have, let's say, for example, this is my YouTube channel, and I talk about uh, very, I do some review stuff, I teach people how to make money online, I teach people about affiliate marketing, and then when I'm done, I might say, hey, if you want to learn more, click on the link below, just like I did in the beginning of this video. And if you click on that link, it'll take you to uh, the product uh, page that I affiliate with, and you could learn more information about it. And if you end up buying, I get a percentage that is affiliate marketing. So the reason they call it redirect is because I get an affiliate link from a product that I use myself personally that I'm passionate about and I talk about it and I refer people. I don't sell them. I'm not directly saying, Hey, come buy this. I say, listen, if you want to learn more, check it out. And if you buy, I get a percentage and, and, uh, most programs I work with, I like to stay with high ticket products and high commission. So I get paid 40% commission on the products I sell, which is pretty great. Now, network marketing is more of a direct sales, meaning I have to physically talk to you, right? I have to call you on the phone. I have to invite you to my house. I have to invite you to a hotel, <laughs> read them, or I have to call you know, all my best friends. I used to do this in college. It was a nightmare. So that's the biggest difference. You have to... Affiliate marketing, there's no recruiting. Network marketing, there's recruiting because you're getting paid kind of on the backs of others. You're building a team, right? It's That's why they say it's a pyramid, okay? So that is one of the big difference, and that's why I swore to myself I would never, ever dip my toe in the network marketing water again. That was back in like 1999. So, uh, and just a brutal experience. Now, don't get me wrong, some people do very, very well with it. I have some friends that do the makeup and things like that. I think it really depends on the type of person you are, but you do have to do that kind of face-to-face -face talk. Now, there are some people kind of taking it online, but there's still that level of personal touch. With affiliate marketing, I don't have to deal with that, okay? I don't have to um, deal with the personal talking. Um, I can just put out my content on blogs and YouTube and make money that way. And it's passively. It's constantly working, working for me in the background. So dues there's no recruiting in affiliate marketing network marketing recruiting 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 another thing choices and freedom so i can i can pro promote multiple products and services from as many companies as i want without having um to deal with any kind of quotas so what's nice about this is on my on my blog and on my on my youtube channel i have various products and stuff that i promote I don't have to pay for any of those products. I don't have to have minimums to meet every month. Now, when you're working with one brand, you are restricted to selling only products and services from one company, and you have a minimum amount you can sell. So you have to hit certain minimums to stay within your uh, percentage. I've been with a particular um affiliate company for a couple of years now and I'll have some really good months and then I'll have some really crappy months like I've had negative months but I don't lose my percentage I don't lose my ranking multi-level marketing or network marketing you could lose your ranking and that sucks now you could sell 20 different multi-level marketing products nobody's telling you, you can't do that but that's a heck of a ton of work right you mainly want to focus on one thing but the biggest difference is you have to deal with the quotas you can lose rank and that sucks okay um Another big factor, too, with affiliate marketing is I'm in control of my destiny. I control everything. 
with network marketing, my future or my income depends on the people I bring in, right? So it's largely dependent upon the new recruits I bring in. Am I going to bring in somebody that's going to hustle or am I going to bring in somebody that's just going to kind of, you know, dilly dally around, make a little bit here and there? Because if I'm going to recruit 10 people, I want them to recruit 10 people. So that's another another big downfall for me. Also, uh, realistic goals. So you can create an online business pretty quickly, like in less than an hour. And you can start generating recurring commissions. So like my YouTube channel, I have videos from a year ago that still make me money every single month. That's recurring or that's passive income. I also have uh, recurring revenue. So I have softwares that I sell that people sign up for and I get a percentage every single month as long as they're still using the software. With um, multi-level marketing or network marketing, there's a lot of high expectations to hit those quotas, right? Go out there, you need to get more, you need to get more because the people above you, they want more money. So the business opportunity is marketed uh, as an easy way to be, to get rich, right? You see, you know, they talk about we have doctors and we have lawyers and we have all these people making all kinds of money and, and it's, you know, they're the ones... <laughs> They're the ones making the money. And it's just, it's very unrealistic. And there's such a high failure rate in uh, network marketing. And then uh, lastly is affiliate marketing is practically free. And, and in many ways, you can do it for free. There are some various tools you'll need to get started, um, but for less than 100 bucks. Um, and there are ways to do it 100% free. It's a little bit longer road, but you can do it. Affiliate programs are absolutely free to join. There are no pr affiliate programs that I know of that charge you. If they do, I probably wouldn't sign up for it. Um, you know, if it's a, unless it's like a training where I'm training and I'm an affiliate, I am an, I'm a part of one of those where I pay to learn and to be an affiliate. So that's different. Um, but it's a, it's a, you can, you can get started pretty quickly, pretty easily. Uh, network marketing, as you all know, you have to buy products up front. Um, I remember uh, when I started, uh, I was selling some wellness products when I was in college out in Colorado. So many moons ago, and I had thousands of dollars of product in my closet for years. I finally dumped them in the garbage because I didn't know what to do with them and they had expired. I had to keep up with the products every month, every month, every month. And I'm thinking, I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell. And I just never did. So there's, you know, the, the startup can be anywhere from hundreds to thousands. So in a nutshell, if you're looking between the two, you can obviously tell that affiliate marketing, there's a lot more pros than network marketing. And me personally, I wouldn't dip my toes in network marketing ever again. So if you want to learn more guys about affiliate marketing, how I do it, I'll put a link below. You can uh, you can learn a little bit more about me and the my number one recommended program for learning how to do affiliate marketing online. Okay, I hope that helps. Have a good one. Bye.